Hi guys, uh, we have a Pilates reformer workout for you today using a box and a ball. So go ahead, grab a box, a ball for props. As always, if you guys don't have those props, I will have them linked in the description below. Before we get started with our workout today, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super things. I really, really love to see all those comments that you guys are leaving me. And then as always, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you guys will be getting those reformer videos. And now Friday videos, they'll be just for members only. So you guys will get Monday, Wednesday for free on my channel. Friday videos will be for members only, which is only $4.99 a month. So if you guys want to get those three days a week, you can just go ahead and join my membership on my page. Thank you so much for supporting me, you guys. We're going to get started. One red spring on our reformers. We're going to sit facing the straps. And then when you guys sit and you face the straps, the legs can be through your shoulder blocks. Legs are going to be nice and long. Make sure that you have at least a palms width away from you in the backs of your carriages so that your sacrums can roll down. And then we're going to grab our long loops into our hands. If you guys want to make this a little easier, since we are just on a red spring, you can always use your short loops instead of your long. I'm going to take my fist to my sternum. My elbows are going to be open out nice and wide. And we're going to start with roll downs today. So on my exhale, I'm going to tuck my pelvis, roll my down into my sacrum so the lowest part of my back is going to get down into the mat we're going to inhale here and then on an exhale we're going to go up and over our legs and we're going to inhale stack our spines back up so again i'm going to exhale tuck my pelvis roll down into my sacrum so the lowest part of the back gets down inhale exhale we're going up and over the legs and then on our inhale let's stack back up so i want to think as i roll back i'm sending my tailbone towards my heels i'm pausing for an inhale and then I'm exhaling, going up over my legs. Inhale to stack back up. Let's do two more. Tuck, roll down into that sacrum again. Inhale, exhale, we're going up and over the legs. Inhaling to stack the spine back up. And then last one, tuck, roll down, take an inhale. And then exhale, going up and over inhaling to stack back up now the next time we come up we're going to pause on an exhale we're going to tuck roll ourselves about halfway back stay fists are going to stay right to your sternum keep the tuck of your pelvis and we're going to just do little pulses up and down of our chest i'm keeping that nice little tuck of my pelvis the entire time the carriage is moving fists stay right to the sternum elbows stay wide we're going to pulse for four three, two, and one. All right, when we come up, arms can be nice and long. We're gonna add in a little movement of the arms and a little rotation of our spine. So the fists are gonna go back to our sternum. We're gonna tuck our pelvis, roll down towards our sacrums. I'd say about halfway back, maybe a little further than halfway back this time. And then from here, my carriage stays still. I'm gonna twist and rotate to the right side of the room, pause open my arms out to the sides i'm keeping tension in my straps so that my carriage doesn't move and then i'm going to pull back center and bring my fists together so we're going to rotate left open the arms again keep tension on the strap so that the carriage doesn't move and then come center so we pull rotate open and we come back center the carriage again you guys is going to stay nice and still so we need to keep tension in those straps twist rotate open the arms come back center twist rope and rotate and then come back center we're going to go for one more to the right one more to the left and then when we finish this one to the left come all the way back up and then once we come up we're going to pause now long loops are going to be lighter short loops are going to be heavier for arms we're going to bring our arms down to our sides palms are facing back sitting up nice and tall on top of our sit bones on an exhale we'll press our palms back behind us and then we'll inhale to return for just a little chest expansion. So warming up our arms, warming up our core. Exhale to press, inhaling as we return. Press, return. We're just going to do three, two, and one. Okay, when we return, pause. Take both straps into your right hand. Rotate to the left side. We're going to add on a yellow spring with this. And then we're gonna lie ourselves down onto our backs, head in the headrest, head up or down to your choice, you guys. Make sure that your straps are not crossed. And then short loops on your hands, arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. 
neutral spines, knees are gonna come up into our tabletop position, legs are zipped together. And then on my exhale, I'm gonna press my arms straight down to the mat for reach and pull. Inhale to return back up. Again, we're exhaling to pull down and we're inhaling to return. We wanna feel our lats engage, those nice big muscles that run up and down the sides of our back. And then we should feel our core engage as well. So that two inches underneath our belly button draws in and up as we press on our exhales. One more like that. And then the next time we come up, we're gonna pause. We're gonna add in single leg extensions, head stay down. So I'm gonna press my arms down, reach my right leg out to a challenging level, inhale to return, exhale, press and extend the left leg. And then inhaling as we return, exhale, press, extend, and inhale, return. I wanna feel my obliques engage as I extend each leg out. Exhale away and inhale back. Let's go for four and three, two, and then last one. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna pause. We're gonna extend both legs out. So exhale, press, extend both legs, and then inhale, return. Exhale, press, extend both legs. Inhale, return. I wanna think since my head is staying down, my bra line is staying anchored, and our abdominals are drawing in and up as we reach out. Exhale, press and extend. Inhale, return. Scoop into those low abs as we reach the legs out. We're gonna go for two more. And then last one. All right, when we come back, relax the feet. We can give ourselves a little bit of a stretch. We can always sway the knees, hug them, stretch them, and then we're gonna add in with those. So arms are gonna go back up to the ceiling. Our knees go up into our tabletop position. Legs are gonna zip together. We're adding in ab curls with single leg extensions. So I'm gonna press curl up, extend my right leg out away from me. Inhale, return. Exhale, press, curl, extend the left leg. And then inhale, return. Exhale, press, curl, extend. And inhale, return. Again, feeling those obliques engage as we reach our legs out. And then holding that nice neutral spine the entire time. This will be the last one on the left. And then when we come down, I want you guys to pause. Arms are going to stay up. Legs stay zipped together. We're going to add in both legs. We're going to exhale, press, curl, extend both legs away. Inhale, return. Press, curl, extend both legs out. Inhale, return. We're drawing our abs in and up as we reach the legs out. Scoop into those low abs. All right, two more. Maintaining my neutral spine the entire time. Last one, press, curl, extend, return, and then we'll relax our head, our feet. We can give ourselves a little stretch. We can sway the knees, hug them, stretch them. The next time we come up, we're gonna hold our abdominal curls. So the arms can extend up, our knees can go back up into our tabletop position, and then one curl, so let's exhale, press, curl up, pause at the top, inhale, reach the right leg out to a challenging level, exhale to pull in, left leg extends, and exhale to pull in. Again, I'm firing up those obliques to pull each leg back in. If the neck is an issue, guys, heads go down into the mat. Think reach through your arms so your arms stay long at your hips. Try to stay curled from that bra line. We're gonna do one more right, one more left. When we come in, arms up, head down, relax the feet. We'll give ourselves a little break in between these ones before we go out and in with both legs. So let's extend our arms up to the ceiling, knees up into our tabletop position, one curl, so we're gonna press curl up, pause. Inhale, reach both legs out to a challenging level. Exhale, scoop into the low abs to pull back in. Inhale out and exhale back in. Thinking, drawing our abs in and up our spine as we pull the knees back. Inhale out and exhale back. Again, if the necks are an issue, heads can go down. We're gonna go for two and exhale. Last one out and in, arms up, head down, relax the feet. And then as always, you can give yourselves a little stretch. Now, we're gonna finish off with arm circles and tricep press. So the arms can go back up to the ceiling. Our knees can go up into a tabletop position. We're gonna reach our right leg out to a challenging level. This leg is gonna stay 
And if you guys want to make this a little more challenging, you can add in a curl. I'll do my first one without the curl. So right leg stays long, left knee tabletop. We're going to press the arms down to the mat, open them up to the sides to circle around and back up. So we go down, around and up. Now if you guys want to add in a curl, you can press your arms down, curl up. When you open your arms, you can return back down. So if you want to make those a little more challenging, feel free to add in that ab curl. But as the arms open, the shoulders, the head should go right back down into the mat. Last one. When we come up to the top, pause. Right leg in, left leg extends. We open our arms out to a T. We press the palms of the hips. The arms go back up to the ceiling again. If you guys would like to add in an ab curl, it's when you press your palms to your hips, and then when your arms go up your shoulders, your heads go down. So exhale, press the palms of the hips. Inhale, return again. Heads can be down or up. That is up to you guys, depending on how challenging you want to make this. We have two. Left leg stays long. Last one. When we come up, pause. Left leg in. Both knees tabletop. Press both palms down. Bend our elbows, tricep press. We're pressing both palms down and then bending the elbows. Now, I'm gonna add in leg extensions, both legs. So when I press my palms down, I'm gonna reach both legs out and I'm gonna inhale, return, press, press extend, and then inhale, return. And now if you guys wanna add in a curl, you can add in a curl to make those a little more challenging. If you wanna hold your curl, you can hold your curl to make those a little more challenging. If you want to keep your legs out and hold your curl to make it the most challenging you guys can, it is up to you. Give me two more. And then on this last one, relax down. Whew. Okay, let's hang our straps up onto the pegs. We're going to sit off to the sides. And then when we sit off to the sides, we're going to go on to our footwork springs. So three reds for sure yellow or a blue or a lighter medium if you guys want to make it a little heavier for your legs and our foot bars are going to go up to the starting position okay so we'll lie ourselves down headrest can be up or down that's up to you guys we're going to start with our heels on the foot bar parallel with each other just about a fist distance away so sits bones distance away from each other and then neutral spine as always we're going to push our carriage out with our heels and then we're gonna exhale, bend to come back in. So we're inhaling to push away and exhaling to pull. I'm thinking my sacrum is heavy. Pelvis just stays nice and still. Finding length as I press out and then a crease in my hips as I pull back in. Inhale and exhale, pull. Holding that nice neutral spine the entire time. Now we're gonna do two more on our heels like this. And then the next time we press out, we're gonna pause all the way out. We're gonna come halfway in with our carriage pause. Keep your carriage still, so staying at that halfway point. We're gonna exhale, roll into our 12 o'clock position. So we're flattening our low backs down. And now we're inhaling to roll into our six, finding a nice arc in our low back. So we're exhaling to roll into our 12, a flat back position. Inhaling as we roll into that six, that nice little arc. So my low back is flat in the 12. And then I'm inhaling to rock into my six for some pelvic collapsing right at that halfway point. All right, now wherever you guys are at, bring it into a neutral spine, press your legs all the way out, come halfway in, hold at that halfway point, and then we have little pulses of our carriage for eight. four, three, two, one. We're going all the way out and then all the way back in. Okay. When we come back in, our arches of our feet are going to go onto the foot bar. They're going to stay that same distance way. Again, a nice neutral spine. I'm going to inhale to push out, exhale to pull in, inhale to push, and then exhale to pull, legs push, belly pulls. So think if you guys were to take all of your springs off, you would still be able to pull the carriage back in with your core. Inhale out, exhale to pull back in. All right, we're gonna do three, 
two. And then last one, now pause all the way out. If your headrests are up, you guys, they're fine to stay up just because we're not gonna do a high lift of your pelvis. You're gonna come halfway in, hold. We're gonna flatten the low back down into the mat again. Lift your pelvis just about a fist distance up off the carriage. And then inhale, roll back down into a neutral spine. Exhale, lift about a fist distance up. And then inhale, roll back into that neutral. Now, the carriage again should be staying nice and still. We're just rolling up about a fist distance and then rolling back down into our neutral spine. Now, you're gonna feel your legs, you're gonna feel your glutes working. I want you to think low abs. So scoop into your low abs to help lift your hips up. If you guys were to take all of the springs off, or all the springs off, if you were to take your feet off of the foot bar, you would still be able to lift your hips up with your core. So think like a reverse crunch. We're gonna go for two, and then last one, scoop into those low abs to lift. Inhale in your neutral, press all the way out. We're coming halfway in again. Hold at that halfway point, little pulses for eight. Three, four, two, one, all the way out, and then right back in. Okay, now we'll go toes, faults of our feet onto the butt bar. Just make sure all 10 toes are on. Again, parallel with each other. We're gonna push our carriage out. We're gonna pause, lower both heels underneath the foot bar, lift both heels high, and then we're bending to come back in. So we push the carriage away, we lower the heels, we lift the heels, and then we bend to come back in. Out, lower, lift, and then bending to come back in. Again, I'm holding my neutral spine the entire time. If you guys wanna speed these up or slow them down, I will leave the pace up to you. So whatever works best, whatever feels best in your bodies for pace. Okay, we're gonna do two more. And then this next time we lower and lift, pause with the heels lifted, we're gonna come halfway in with the carriage. Now, our carriage stays still again, again, our pelvis does not move. So stay in your neutral spine. We're gonna lower the heels and lift the heels, lower the heels and lift. Again, we're staying in our neutral. The carriage stays nice and still. Both heels lower, both heels lift, both heels lower, both heels lift. Four, three, two, and one. All right, press all the way out. Keep those heels lifted up high. Come halfway in with your high heels. Little pulses of the carriage with that high heel. Six, four, three, two, one, all the way out, and then all the way back in. Okay, we're gonna bring our heels onto the foot bar, slide them all the way out to the sides. Last thing before I run, we're externally rotated. I'm gonna flatten my low back down into the mat, lift my pelvis, about a fist distance up off the carriage, hold that, and we're gonna push our carriage out with that little lift, keep the hover of our pelvis as we come back in. So what I don't want you guys to do is when you come in, you're lifting your pelvis up higher, it stays hovering that fist distance the entire time. We're getting that glute max to activate, we're pushing away, and then just kind of resisting to come back in. Exhale out. Inhale back. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, when we come in, pause. Roll our spines down, bring it into a neutral. Go toes, balls of our feet back to center. One more push, press the carriage out. We're gonna go into our run. We're bending one knee, lowering the opposite heel, and then just taking that run at our own pace. Two and one. All right, lower the heels, lift the heels, and then bend to come back in. Okay, we'll sit off to the sides. Our springs are going to stay, our foot bars are going to stay. We're gonna grab our boxes and our balls. Okay, if you guys are shorter, I'd say five, seven, or under, go in front of your shoulder blocks with your box. If you're taller, go over your shoulder blocks with your box. And then we're gonna go ahead and sit on our box facing our foot bars. 
our straps on the wooden platform are going to be right underneath or over our feet and then our balls are going to start in between our knees today now when the balls go in between the knees measure make sure you guys have at least a palms distance just like when we started those roll downs a palms distance away our arms are going to reach nice and long away from us little squeeze of that ball to activate those inner thighs we're going to exhale tuck our pelvises and just start to roll our spines down into our sacrum just like that warm-up of our roll down so the low back gets flat we take an inhale on my next exhale i'm going to scoop into my abdominals and sit up nice and tall so again on my exhale i'm going to tuck my pelvis roll down to my sacrum take an inhale exhale scoop into those abdominals to come back up tuck roll back inhale and then exhaling as we come back up we're going to do two more like that and we're going to make these a lot more challenging all right last one tuck roll back on our exhale pause for an inhale and then we're going to exhale to come all the way back up now we're going to take the ball out we are going to take our right foot out of the strap and then we're going to bring our right knee up into a tabletop position now when we get here i'm going to lean back slightly really tuck my pelvis the ball is going to go onto my right knee right thigh and then i'm going to take my left elbow to the ball hands behind the head now we're going to hinge back flat back and then exhale a little lift up inhale a little roll down so i'm going up and down about like maybe a half a foot maybe one foot so going down up down up three two one and up Whew. okay now when we come up ball stays in our hands left foot stays in right knee goes up into a tabletop position we're going to reach our arms out we're going to tuck roll down to that little like teaser position so i'm right on the edge of my tailbone and then i'm going to reach my right leg straight out i'm going to reach my arms behind me and then when i come back down i'm going to rotate to the right so i'm going to rotate to the right as i pull my right knee in i'm going to inhale extend center and then exhale rotate right to come in pulling my right knee in inhale out and exhale in we're staying with that tuck of the pelvis again we should be in that like teaser position that j curve of our spine we have three two and one Ooh, okay set that foot down relax we are not done on this side yet so ball stays in the hands we're going to reach our arms out we're going to tuck roll back right knee back up into a tabletop position now from tabletop reach the right leg out if your hip flexor is an issue guys little bend to your knee we're going to extend our right leg we're going to reach the arms back lower the leg down to the foot bar tap it and then lift up inhale down exhale lift lower and lift so the arms reach up the leg lowers down if you guys want a little more burn you can go a little further back on that box three two exhale up last one lift and oh okay relax now we're going to keep the left foot in we're going to rotate to the right side our right leg goes onto the box if this doesn't work you guys for hips knees you can dangle your leg out in front of you we are going to keep the ball we're going to reach the ball overhead left leg is long hips are stacked shoulders are stacked we're going to inhale hinge to the well and then exhale use our obliques to come up inhale hinge to the well and exhale obliques bring us back up we have four more two and one oh okay we're going to make those a little more challenging now so we're going to stay in this roll down our leg is going to stay long ball back overhead we're going to do a little side bend we're going to take the ball into the right hand we're going to go to the floor we're going to come together we're going to go to our hip so we come together we go to the floor together hip together floor together hip together two more sets floor hip one more floor one more hip 
and come up. Oh, okay, I am dying today. Okay, switch sides. We have to do all of that stuff again. So right foot is in the strap, left foot is out. Make sure when you guys sit back on your box, you have at least that palms distance. We are going to tuck, roll slightly back, left knee tabletop, the ball goes to your left knee, your right elbow goes to the ball, hands behind the head, and we rotate to the left. Now, from here, I'm gonna roll slightly back, hold. I'm gonna pulse up and down, up and down, staying in that rotation to the left, giving a little push of my elbow on the ball every time I curl up that four or five inches. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, ball stays in our hands. Arms are gonna reach long. We're gonna tuck, roll into that nice little J curve, left knee up into our tabletop position. When we reach our leg out and our arms back, the next time we come back, we're pulling our knee in and we're rotating to the left with the ball. So I inhale, I come center and extend, and then I exhale, I pull my knee in and I rotate to the left. So inhale out and exhale in, inhale out. Exhale in, we should really feel those obliques. Let's do two, one, and relax. All right, a couple more things with this ab burn on the box. Ball is gonna reach long. We're gonna tuck roll, left knee tabletop from here. We extend the leg. Now, we reach our arms overhead. We lower the leg straight down, try to tap the foot bar, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Again, if you guys want a little more work, go a little further back onto that box. Just make sure that you're keeping the tuck of the pelvis. It's an inhale down and exhale up. Two and one and up. Okay. Keep your right foot in, rotate to the left side. Last, not least, left leg bends out in front of you or it can dangle, you guys. Right leg is going to be long in this strap. Hands overhead. We're gonna inhale, hinge to the well. Exhale, use those right obliques to come up. Inhale, hinge, exhale up. Imagine that you're in between two panes of glass and you guys don't wanna smudge that glass. Two more and one okay come all the way up last thing we're going to the floor hip with this ball so overhead right leg long hinge the well pause we go to the floor we come together we go to the hip we come together we go floor together hip together the ball should meet back over head we have two and one and then when we come together come all the way back up oh, okay and then we can go ahead and sit ourselves off to the sides we are done with core so take the boxes off set them to the sides and then when we set the box to the sides, you guys can set the balls to the sides as well. You have the option for this next exercise to either go to a red or a blue, which is a heavy and medium spring, or a red and a yellow, which is a heavy light spring. So up to you, one heavy, one medium, one heavy, one light. We're gonna do some glute, some leg work. We're going to stand on the left side of your reformer. So if you guys were lying down, left side of your reformer, your right foot goes back onto the shoulder block closest to you. The left foot is down onto the floor. My hip is over my ankle, and then my right knee should be lifted off of the carriage. Both hands are on the foot bar, and then when we bend our left knee a few inches, we're gonna sink our booty back towards our heel a few inches. Everything stays but the right leg. We're gonna press the carriage out with our right leg, come in, press out, come in. I'm pushing my heel into the shoulder block, and I'm squeezing my glute so that I can get my glute max to fire. So it's not just my quad, it's not just my hamstring, it is my glute max working as well. We have four, three, two, and one. Now we pause all the way out. We have halfway pulses, so halfway in, all the way out, halfway in, all the way out. 
four, three, two, one. Now hold halfway, little pulses for eight. Your pelvis doesn't move, just the leg. Three, two, one, all the way out, all the way back in. Okay, just one red spring, one heavy spring on your reformer, you guys. Your right foot is gonna stay back, your left foot stays, both hands are gonna go into the foot bar. I'm gonna press my right leg out, bend my left knee, so I sink into a bit of a lunge. Now, from this lunge, I'm gonna to start to bring my carriage in, lift my hips up, and I'm gonna kick my left leg back, drop down onto the floor, back into that lunge. So I'm gonna lift my hips, kick my left leg back and up, and then drop back into that lunge. Exhale up, inhale down. Four, three, two, and one. Now when I press back into that lunge, hold. If you wanna relax your knee down, you can. And then just stay for a nice stretch. All right, bring the carriage all the way back in. We're gonna add on a blue or a yellow spring again, and you guys are gonna walk around to the other side. Now, same thing, left foot is back. When my right foot is on the floor, my hip is right over my ankle. My left knee is lifted off the carriage. Both hands are on the foot bar. I'm gonna bend my standing legs to my right knee a few inches, and my booty should sink back towards my heel a few inches. We're gonna exhale, push the carriage out, inhale back, exhale out, Inhale back, push into your heel, and squeeze your glute as you go out and in. Exhale out, inhale back. Four, three, two, one. Hold this leg out here, ready? Halfway in, all the way out, halfway in all the way out again everything stays still but your left leg arms don't move pelvis doesn't move right leg doesn't move three two one hold at this halfway point little pulses eight again pelvis doesn't move three two one all the way out and then right back in okay take off that extra yellow or blue spring Right foot stays, left knee lifts back up if you guys sit it down. Press your left leg long, bend your right knee, pause. From here, we're gonna tuck our pelvis, lift our hips, shoulders over the hands, kick the right leg back, drop back down. Exhale, lift, inhale as we drop back down. Three. Two and one. Okay, hold that stretch. We'll bring our carriage all the way back in and then we're gonna change to two heavy springs, two reds. We're gonna move into feet and straps. If you guys ever wanna make this a little heavier, you can always add on a yellow or a light spring with that. We're gonna lie down, headrest. Can we up or down? That's up to you guys. Long loops are gonna go onto our feet. Okay, let's just pause, stretch, take a quick breath. Low backs can be flat. Tug on those ropes, give yourselves a nice stretch. My heart rate is up. Try to get those heart rates back down. Okay, we're gonna start with our legs up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. We're gonna exhale and just lower our legs straight down. They should be zipped together. And we're gonna inhale, hinge at the hips, come back up. So we're exhaling to lower straight down. We're inhaling to hinge. My bra line is staying anchored when my legs lower. And then I'm drawing my abs in and up my spine, 
towards my solar plexus as I lower. So I'm engaging my low abs. Exhale to pull down and then inhaling as we hinge. All right, two more. And then last one. All right, now once we come up, we're gonna pause. We're gonna lower the legs back down towards our springs, open them wide out to the sides, and we're gonna circle around and back up for our leg circle. So we go straight down, open the legs wide, to circle them around and back up for some leg circles. My sacrum, as always, stays heavy. My pelvis is staying nice and still. So that movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. The more we move our joints, you guys, the more synovial fluid we create for those joints, which is that nice lubricant for them. So great movement here for those hips. All right, last one. When we come up, pause, reverse or opening out, pressing the legs down and around. And then when we hinge to come back up, we're just making sure that we're not collapsing into our low backs. All right, two more and one. All right, when we come up, legs can be straight up to the ceiling, low backs can be flat. And again, my ropes, again, a nice little tug just to stretch out my low back, my hamstrings. I'm taking a deep breath in through my nose, out through my mouth. All right, now let's do a little figure four stretch. So we'll take our straps off of our feet. We're gonna hang them up. We're gonna stay lying down. I'm gonna take my right ankle to my left knee. You guys can press your right knee away from you if that feels good, or you can hug your left leg in towards you if you need a deeper stretch. And again, we're just giving those piriformises a nice stretch here. In through the nose with your breath, out through the mouth. All right, we'll switch. Left ankle, right knee, same thing. You can either push the knee away from you, you can hug your knee in, you can push and hug. Just give that left piriformis a nice stretch. Breathe and relax. Your heart rate should be down by now. All right, we're gonna untangle ourselves. We can sit off to the sides. You guys are all finished with your class. I hope that burned for you as much as it did for me. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me those super thanks, you guys. That really helps to support my channel. And then as always, I will have content for you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Those Friday videos though will be for members only. Again, it is $4.99 a month. That is just so we can help support my page, you guys. Keep growing, we wanna keep this going. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you.